Hello everyone, I'm Charles. Welcome to Graphic Design Quick Start. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to create a raised bevel effect in Photoshop. We're going to create this bevel effect on this background. If I zoom in, you can see the fine details. The background remains flat on the wood texture and lazes when it meets the bevel. Let me show you how this is done. Let us switch to a starting composition. As you can recall, this is a composition in progress from our previous videos. Let's go to the Layers panel. Click on the big white text to make it active. Change its fill to zero. Go to the bottom of the Layers panel. Click on Effects. Bevel and Emboss. Change the size to 25. Give it an angle of 15. Leave the highlight building mode at screen. Click on the color swatch. Give it a hue of 35. Saturation of 15. And brightness of 80. Leave the shadow mode, running mode at multiply. Click on the color swatch. Give it a hue of 35. Saturation 50. Brightness 35. Click OK. Leave both the opacity for the highlight and shadow at 75. Click on contour. Change the contour to learn the steps. Let us now add a drop shadow. Change the blend mode to multiply. Click on the color swatch. Give it a hue of 35, saturation 100, brightness 20, click OK. Change the angle to 15, the distance to 7, the size to 15, click OK. We only have one problem, a background is not working with the text. You can see the background is not lazy whenever you have a bevel text, as it is on a final composition. To work on that, let us create a displacement map. Click on the bevel text to make it active. Right click, duplicate layer, and the document choose new. Let us call it Word Displace. Click OK. Let us remove all the effects in the layer. Go to layer, layer style, clear layer style. Plus D for default for glout and background colors. Let us now create a new layer below the white text. Hold Ctrl, Command on Mac. Click on the plus button at the bottom of the layers panel. That will automatically create a layer below the active layer. Alt Delete, Option Delete on Mac to fill the layer with black. Since our foreground color is black, since we'll be applying smart filters, merge the two layers into a smart object. But before we do so, let us duplicate our white text. Click on the white text to make it active. Right click, duplicate layer. Let us hide it, we'll come back to it later. Click on the original copy of the white text. Shift click on the black background to select them both. Right click, convert to smart object. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. This will help us create the raising effect where the background blazes whenever it meets the bevel. Our choice of radius guided by our bevel size. We're choosing a radius below half of our bevel size, which we choose 25. 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. I went with 10. If you express this as a displacement map, white will move text to one direction and black will move it to the other. We need to convert the composition to mini upgrade. Go to the bottom of the layers panel. Click on adjustment layers. Choose levels. Click on the creeping mask icon. At the moment, our blur effect goes to the inside and the outside of the text. We don't need it on the outside of the text so that the background doesn't start lazing before the bevel starts. Change the black point to 128 to make everything outside the text black. Change the output level to 128 to make the whole composition to mid upgrade. With this effect, our background remains laced. We check on our final composition. That effect lazes the wood background whenever it meets the bevel. Let us now create another effect that will lower the background after it leaves the bevel. Click on a duplicate white text to make it active. Click on the eye icon to show it. Let us change its color to medium gray. Change the brightness to 50. Alt delete, command delete to fill it with medium gray. Go to the bottom of the layers panel. 
click on effects inner grow change the opacity to 100 percent click on the color switch make sure it's white change the size ranging above our bevel effect which was 25 let's choose 28 Raise the chalk to 70 go to the blending options change the blend mode to multiply also make sure you check blend interior effects as a group click ok change its opacity to 75 this will make sure the effect doesn't lap around the text all the way in our previous videos we expressed dispersion maps as flat images but in our case there are so many layers involved to ensure compatibility go to edit preference file handling under maximize psd and psb files compatibility change it to ask click ok go to file save us save it as word displays click on save make sure maximum compatibility is checked click ok now let us go back to a composition in progress click on the background layer to make it active go to filter distort displace give it a horizontal scale of zero since we don't want to displace our background horizontally give it a vertical scale of six click ok choose a wood displace click open when you zoom in you can see now our wood background lazes whenever it meets the bevel and slopes down whenever it leaves the bevel let me press F a couple of times. And that's how you create a laser bevel effect in Photoshop. That's it for today. Like, share, and consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on upcoming episodes.